So the most important thing to a bowel movement is fiber and water. 70% of a bowel movement is fiber and water. And the only place that you can get fiber is from plants. So you got to make sure you eat enough plants and you got to make sure you eat enough raw plants. So make sure that every day you consume some plants and some of them are raw. Okay, so that means including like a little side salad with everything you eat or having a smoothie in the morning, uh, whatever floats your boat, but making sure you get some raw foods and some good plants in there, okay? But, yeah, but with pesticide, it's... Oh, that, that's yeah. when, it, well, uh, everything organic, so you don't have to panic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, and yeah. there you have it. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, Can and, you and, allow me? Uh, I have I, one last question. And <laughs> just, sorry, just because um, sometimes I share I share the videos with people who are out of um, Canada in Africa, and there are some parts of Africa where milk it's like very important. I don't yeah. know if you heard about Maasai. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, milk and yeah, meat. So, exact. Yes. So for how. Uh, again, my, my goal is not to convince, convince them that milk is bad, but because some of them have good health. And again, how how can you explain the, the fact that those people don't have a um, negative effect of milk? Well, what's the average life expectancy of the Maasai? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like 50. Yeah. Damn. It's like yeah. 50. Milk and meat? That's blood and acid. Mm. So you know what m most people, most Maasai warriors die like Maasai people? Parasites. Wow. Parasites is a huge cause of death and infection. So you got to understand that the more acidic the body is, the more riddled it is with mucus from the milk and then parasites from the meat, of course, you're going to have a very low life expectancy. So they're healthy until they're dead. Mm. <laughs> no, it's lit. And, and aesthetically, it's, they like very yeah, shape. Because they walk a lot. I mean, they could walk 20 miles in a day. When I was uh, living in Tanzania, I stayed at this little bread and bed and breakfast. And they were like, because I'm like the only American there. And they were like, damn, you're here. Like, you're just here by yourself. And I'm like, yeah. So they put, like, a Maasai warrior outside of my door. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, like, nah, bro, you just can't be out here. Every every night I would just come out to kind of chill and get some air. And I'd see him, like, curled up sleep. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, they look healthy, super healthy, tall, lanky, lean. lean. But, yeah, the average average life expectancy is around 50, and they eat milk and meat. So that's why I'll be telling like the people with the carnivore diet, I'm like, you just hold tight. Right. You just hold tight because it's coming. Wow. Good Thank questions. You so much. Very good questions. Thank you so much. I encourage people to have this at home. It's fun. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. it is fun. They need those. And we appreciate you for sharing all sharing us internationally, all the way to Africa. We appreciate that. Bless us to you. you. Canada, Bye -bye. son. Canada. No, no, but she's sharing it. She's in Canada. Yeah. Oh, she's sharing it? But she's sharing it to yeah, her people oh, back in Africa. That's love, Nikki. Much <laughs> yeah, love to you, Nikki. You know, so we was uh we was hanging out this weekend, you know, Atlanta. Yeah. We basically live at a on a huge park, the belt line, right? Yeah. And um I end up walking past the Atlanta Wine Festival. Okay. And man, you can imagine it was yeah. eighty percent ladies at the Atlanta Wine Festival. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, and they were sloshed. Mm. They was, I mean, toe back, like seeing some throwing up, seeing some uh, falling no. over. Yeah, it was bad. Damn. But it, ratchet. It, but it was ratchet. It was ratchet. But the thing is, they had two sessions, and it was two sessions of that. But then it was also the other wine festival, and then it was another uh, drinking festival at. Um, Atlantic Station. It was, and it's all these festivals going on, all, and it's ladies that are occupying the the majority amount of these festival tickets, yeah. right? And I want to talk to you about not not how I was about to say alcoholism, maybe that too, but just alcohol in general and yeah. how it might impact both men and women yeah. when it comes to binge drinking. Yeah, man, new studies. There is no safe amount of alcohol to drink. It is a toxin, period. 
I know that people have ha- heard the study. A you glass say one of, shot a day. A glass of wine a day, blah, blah, blah. Fudge. What people don't understand about most studies is most studies are funded by the very industries that benefit from the study. So, like, a study is very, very expensive. Like, you got to hire scientists, you got to collect data, et cetera, et cetera. It could be $10 million to do a study. So, it's marketing. So, who's funding? That makes sense. The study. Great marketing. So, a lot of times when you hear these uh, glass of wine a day, they paid the scientist, they paid the doctor to even collude with them. Uh, or maybe the doctor even doesn't even know. He just read the paper and it looked good. Because the scientist knows exactly how to write the paper so that when a healthcare professional like myself or a doctor looks at it, they're like, oh, this is a good study. But then when you look at the source, like who funded the study, it's like there's no way that this could be non-biased. So there is no safe amount of alcohol to drink. And it just does nothing good for you. Like, it's a neurotoxin. That's, yeah. why, that's why you feel drunk. Yeah. It's literally a toxin to the brain. And it goes straight into the bloodstream, straight to the brain, and then to the liver. And it re- and the thing is, it can impact your sexual health in a variety of ways too. Yep. Because I've had I've had guys that will tell me that they engage when they engage in sex, casual sex, or just sex in general, alcohol will be involved to the yeah. point where if they didn't drink alcohol, they couldn't perform sexually. Oh, then they probably man. have confidence issues. Yeah. They're probably insecure. So they need to solve that part. Mm-hmm. And that's actually one of I didn't stop drinking because I got healthy. I actually was still drinking. I was eating really healthy. What made me stop drinking was like mm-hmm. eight years ago, I was out and I was thinking to myself, like, I got to have a drink in my hand just to socialize. I was like, all right, I'm going to do an experiment. For the next month, whenever I go out, I can't have a drink. I can't even have a drink in my hand. Like, even if it's water or whatever. I'm How like, did that feel? Awkward. Yeah. Very awkward. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. I realized that's what it was. That's why I was drinking, to be social. So I said, all right, so we gonna, I'll start by drinking when I can go out and not feel awkward by not drinking. Mm-hmm. But by the time I got to the point that I was comfortable, I didn't want to drink anymore. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wow. And I know some ladies that, that have some issues with it, too. I mean, I got some that I know that I'm like, they might low-key be alcoholics, you mm-hmm. know? And then I got some that you can tell what the alcohol has done to their bodies. Yeah. It's just like. It ruins your yeah. body. Yeah. I that, mean, the whole body. You, it ages you. Tremendously. It literally ages you. And it's, I mean, as you know, alcohol is fermented which means that it's creating sugar as well, too. So we know what sugar does to the body as well, too. So, Whew. Yeah. Hey, while we at it, let me see if my brother, let me see if my brother Moses got together over here. Hey, Moses, look, we about to give you a chance, Because <laughs> we got somebody else in the background. They, they, they screaming and yelling. They ready. Where you at, Moses? Moses, you ready? I'm ready. There you go. <laughs> What's up with you, brother? How you Texas. living, man? I'm all right. I'm 49 years old. I'm calling from Day, Texas. Now we got uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Moses. I think I think your Metro PCS is acting up right now because you're going in and out. We can't really hear you. So let's try this again. We'll try to run that back because you're 40, going in 40, and out. 49 from Texas. Go ahead. 49 from Dayton, Texas. And I wanted to ask Dr. Bobby Price. I wanted to make a comment. Tell him this. That um, about eight months ago, I had a, a mild heart attack. And I was taking those gas station Viagra pills. I looked at some Yaki said about maybe nine months ago, he said, if you're taking that, you definitely could have a heart attack. Yes, sir. So I want to I wanna say, uh, what does he think about that? Since then, I've been uh, straightening out my diet and everything else like that and growing my own food. I don't want to eat out the grocery stores anymore. And um, I started his 14-day fast two days. I mean, it's 14 day detox today. Okay. Yeah, man. I, I, I tell people every, every time do not get those gas station pills. The gas station pills are loaded with caffeine, loaded with sugar, loaded with things that stimulate the heart to get the blood flowing. 
But you got to understand, it's just like drinking a monster drink. It's just like drinking, you know, the Red Bull. Like, you drink too much of it, it can cause you to have a heart attack. Mm. So I think a lot of people just don't realize, you know, I mean, I see people get food at a gas station. Just, you're never going to get anything of quality from the gas station. <laughs> like, <laughs> QT but hot gas. dogs, hit. But gas, okay. so that's hit, hit or miss. So <laughs> I just think it's really important for people to understand. It's a, going back to what we were saying earlier, people are trying to address the symptoms without addressing the cause. You got to address the cause of the issue because if you start taking these little shortcuts, you start taking these little back doors, they can in your life that's fact so okay so in that same realm as the gas station viagra what about like uh those carbonated waters you got the what's the the popular one the celsius caffeinated drinks yeah oh, you, you defi- those- do your research on that one okay yeah man they they're no good either wow yeah man but it was really good marketing I think people people love, love those people now. love those drinks, but look at turn turn the can on the side. Look at the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, it's chemistry. Mm. And then if you can't pronounce it, you then need to look it up and say what are the effects of X. 